Digital products are oversaturated and nobody can make any more money online, right? Not exactly. Well, if you do listen to a lot of the other videos that are out there that tell you to sell AI wall art or that tell you to sell something for like a dollar ebook, then yeah, competition is going to be pretty stiff. Things are going to be pretty saturated. But there are still untapped markets and actually entire untapped industries to be able to sell digital products on. And today I want to be able to talk about those and specific examples of each type of product. If this is your first time here, my name is Doug and my wife Haley and I actually run a seven figure digital products business. And so to say that we've actually tested these and tried these and sold them and stopped selling them and kind of done everything in between, it's an understatement. We have actually tried all these. We've actually even gotten into physical products and immediately knew that digital products was the way to go. But you have to go about it a certain way. You can't just jump in and start selling things for 50 cents or a dollar if you want to make some kind of substantial income. Now, if you're really serious about getting some step by step help on how to sell digital products down in the description below, you can check out our free training that's called zero to 100k in 12 months or less with digital products. It's going to guide you through all the steps like picking a niche, figuring out what to post on social media, how to price and how to sell. I promise you it's worth it. There's a ton of value in it. Go check it out down in the description below. Now, before we start getting into the details of everything, there needs to be something that you understand with whatever product you put out, whether it's digital or whether it's physical, whatever product you make needs to solve a specific problem for people. Okay, the bigger the problem that you can solve, the more of a return on investment that the user is going to get out of it. So therefore, the higher price you can charge. So just keep that in mind. Okay, as if you're trying to figure out a digital product as a side hustle, you want to make $100 a month, you want to take $1,000 a month, you want to make $10,000 a month, whatever it is, you have to solve a problem. And the more you can solve a problem for a specific person, the better of a chance it is being unsaturated and you can tap into something that's a real opportunity. So as we go through this list, just think about how you can help people. Okay. The more you can help somebody, the more of a chance you have to be able to quit your nine to five. Okay. So the first category that we're going to talk about here are digital courses. Yes, I get it. You're probably thinking like, I just got an ad for digital course watching this video or like, you know, I've seen a hundred different people selling courses online and they're all shilling a course on a course and doing these things. Look, I get it. It looks like everyone's doing a course, but I can guarantee you if you ask one of your friends or if you ask your grandma or your mom or somebody about how to sell an online course or even what an online course is, you're going to get weird looks. Okay. People are going to think, oh, you mean like, you know, courses at the university or something like that, or, or, you know, some type of training that you do at work. No, it's none of those and it's really not as saturated as you think. The thing is that digital courses or online courses themselves are not saturated. The entire industry is not saturated. Specific niches or specific topics might be saturated, okay? There might be a saturation of, of different types of outcomes that people have, but the overall industry themselves is not saturated. And the thing is, is that because there are so many different types of people and because there are so many different types of stories and because there's so many different types of attitudes and the way that people talk and different actual course topics, it's very hard to be saturated unless you're copying like an exact product or an exact method. So the fact that you as an individual are unique and combine that with the idea of doing things like planting or gardening or raising chickens or fitness or running, budgeting, communications, photography, dating, feminine energy, whatever the topic is, there's such an unlimited market of, of ideas that you can choose from. There's no way that it's saturated. Okay. And that's why this is number one on our list. Okay. It's number one in being able to change your life with the amount of income that you can drive, but it's also number one in being unsaturated because you can literally choose something that rarely people have ever actually done. But let's say that you're not trying to do a digital course that's online. Okay. I totally get it. Some people want to start with something small. Some people may not want to change their lives right away. And essentially some people want to kind of step in or, or, you know, dip their toes in or whatever the phrase is. I totally get that. Okay. So the second thing on our list is principal templates. So principal templates are things that you'll sell or that you'll find on like Canva or their PDFs or template, and you can buy them on Etsy and you can kind of buy them in different areas that are there too. But principal templates are basically things where people are providing a template for a product that they print. So that could be things like wedding invitations. It could be birthday cards. It could be business cards. It's something that, that you basically customize yourself and then you go ahead and you print it. Now this is becoming more and more common. Okay. People are figuring out that templates, principal templates are a very profitable niche because they strike a good balance between demand and between price. But the thing is, is that if you can add niches to them, specific niches or specific people, 
that again have specific problems, then the templates can naturally be unsaturated. So a great example of this are welcome guides, okay? Nobody thinks that they can buy a template for a welcome guide or an onboarding guide or template or book or something like that of some sort. And so if we look at things like welcome guides, you get somewhere around 8,000 results on Etsy, which actually isn't that much compared to something else if you were to just look up like a mug. And that's with a super broad term. Now let's pair that with a term like Airbnb welcome guide or Airbnb welcome book or something to that effect where now we are providing a specific product to a specific person. Somebody who runs an Airbnb wants to have a welcome guide or a welcome booklet for all of their people that come and stay at their house or whatever. And so they want it to look professional. They want it to look really good, but they don't have any design aesthetic or design taste. That's where this product comes in. There's less than 4,000 results that are there. The pricing is pretty decent and there's a good number of sales. So that's how you would take what you might consider like a saturated niche of a principal template or a principal file of some sorts and make it unsaturated by adding a specific person with a specific problem and a specific niche. So as long as you solve different problems for different people and it's not a generic template, you can pretty much be as unsaturated as you want. So let's say principal things, you know, like invitations or cards or stuff like that aren't your thing. You wanna stay completely digital or at least as digital as possible. Another really good unsaturated market to be able to jump into are website templates. Now as more and more people move into the online space, more and more people are getting into building websites, more and more people are building funnels, they're building checkout pages, they're building thank you pages, but they can't actually build them, okay? They don't have the technical knowledge, they cannot code, they cannot change colors, they cannot change text, they can't choose fonts or install fonts to be able to make things look the way that they want. And honestly, some people do, and they just don't have the time to do that. They have an entire business to run. So what do people do? They go to WordPress, or they go to Kajabi or whatever, and then they go try to find one of the free templates that are available, and they look generic. They look plain. They look kind of weak, honestly. So an untapped market here, an unsaturated idea to be able to sell is a specific website template for specific niches. And it could be niches or jobs or industries or markets or whatever, because websites are used basically by everyone everywhere. There's no real limit to who uses or who needs a website. So it's basically up to you to pick and choose the actual unsaturated niche or unsaturated industry to make these templates for. So it can be for dentists. It can be for orthodontists, it could be for farms, it could be for donut shops, it could be for really whatever you think about anyone who needs some type of website. And what's even more helpful is that you don't have to just make like an entire generic website for them, okay? You don't have to make the entire site. People actually need just checkout pages. They need just sales pages, just the thank you page. When somebody signs up on an email list, they need to send them to a thank you page with like a couple of recommended products or a couple of recommended posts for them to check out but they don't know how to make that, okay, you can provide that answer for them. So let's take a look at this example here, okay? So this example, this checkout template, when you look up checkout template, it has just about 2,000 results, okay? That's not very many results in the grand scheme of Etsy, right? And some of these products even show an estimated monthly revenue of nearly $1,000 a month with just a couple of sales, okay? Lower competition, higher price points, higher return on your investment and your time. Again, we're speaking to specific people in specific industries with specific problems. I'm glad I can say the word specific. All right, maybe websites aren't your thing, okay? I totally got you. We can move into another type of product, which is digital templates, okay? Let's say that you're not as keen on websites and you're not really that good at designing them and you don't wanna do things like birthday cards or invitations or things like that. Digital templates basically are most commonly things having to do with social media, okay? They're digital assets, they're things things that are just going to be files that nobody ever actually intends to print. So it could be things like social media assets, it could be branding kits, it could even be things like Zoom backgrounds. When somebody has a really messy or dirty background, they need to put up something that looks more professional, you can even sell those. Now in this specific instance for this like digital template or digital asset that we're gonna do here, I wanna look at an entire shop instead, okay? Instead of just one specific product, I wanna look at an entire shop because this is how I would set things up. So the shop here is called Social Media Avenue and Social Media Avenue has over a thousand sales throughout their entire shop, okay? And they have an average sale price of $55. So let's say roughly $55,000 done by this shop. And all they've done is they've just sold something quote unquote saturated here, like social media templates, because let's be honest, there are a ton of social media templates for people to be able to choose from nowadays. But what they've done 
as they've spoken to specific jobs and specific industries. So they made them unsaturated by targeting people who you may not think need social media, but still do need social media. These are people like doulas, psychologists, lash artists. You know, there's lots of different small businesses that you consider very traditional that need social media still. Now you don't have to get this crazy and basically list out all the different industries that Social Media Avenue does. But the idea here is that if you're producing something that's this easy and this interchangeable, you might as well target different markets here with your product. And in doing so, you can make your product unsaturated. Are you picking up a theme here? It's not just something is saturated. You can turn saturated ideas or saturated ideas into things that are unsaturated by niching them down. Okay, so let's just pretend that you have like zero design capabilities whatsoever, okay? Let's say you have zero taste, but you are really good at writing things, okay? You actually have, and you can sell really good with writing. Well, what you can do is you can actually sell email templates. Now there's a lot of variety here, and I've already talked about the no design side. So we're gonna skip over the fact that you can sell entirely pre-designed email marketing templates for things like MailChimp or ConvertKit or other email softwares. And instead we'll talk about the actual text. We'll talk about the text and the script and the writing in the templated writing that you can provide to people via a sale on Etsy. And so email marketing, if we throw email marketing, that generic term into Etsy already has under 6,000 results at the time of recording this. But if you add an industry to that, let's say like it add a type of person that gets even smaller, but still retains demand. So it doesn't stop sales, okay? I mean, just look at this product that is $1,300 a month with just a few sales needed. I mean, all they did here was they just created ready to use templates that you can go ahead and customize in Canva. And they have different covers and different designs for each month. And that's basically it. But you see, just by niching down and adding an industry doesn't stop sales. All right, let's look at this specific product here. This product is $1,300 a month with just a few sales needed. Now, yes, they blend, you know, including the design, but then also including the text, because what they do is they have different cover pages and different styles of pages, and they have postcard designs, but they also include different ideas for blog articles that you can also include within these newsletters. So they provide both. They provide the actual design and the actual text in templated form for people to be able to use what well, specifically for realtors or real estate people to be able to use. And the good news about this one is that you can actually print them as newsletters or send them out in digital format. And so here, all you need to do is find specific use cases for people in email. And again, it could be like, you know, specific industries, or it could be specific types of emails like welcome the emails, warming emails, onboarding emails, thank you emails, uh, abandoned cart emails. There's lots of different types of email templates that you can provide for specific industries. And when you provide them again, I repeated it throughout this entire video. If it's for specific people on specific industries, it becomes less and less saturated. So there you have it. Some of the best unsaturated product types and examples. So remember, if you just solve a specific problem for a specific person and niche down, you will naturally find unsaturated opportunities. So if you like this video, don't forget to head down to the description below to grab our zero to 100K in 12 months or less with digital products training. I promise you it's totally worth it. The value is immense and I will see you guys in the next one.